In teachers, it's our great honor to enter the final round of the competition. I'm the team leader. My name is Liu Zhu. My team members are Chen Pu, Yue Yun, and Ren Yan. They are all the on the ice. We choose the Baby Max as the competition case. Today, we will share it from the following four aspects. And the first part is the under our understanding of the concept of the innovation. The second part is the ultimate plan for this case. The third part is the implementation path. The final part is the effective evaluation. Well, let me share the first part, innovative thinking. And Scan Peter, a famous political economist, in his book, The Theory of Economic Development, it wrote that the so-called innovation is to establish a new production function, that is the recombination of product factors. Innovation is not a technical concept, but an economic concept. Chris Tenson, also a very famous economist, in his book, Innovator's Dilemma, it mentioned that Technical innovation or market innovation alone is not enough to bring a, a disruptive change, but the combination of technical technology and the market is indeed to produce real change. Let me take two examples. A Chinese bride, we call it Da Jiang, a DJ, a UAV company. The drone and the camera are all existing technology, but a better combination for the suitable market. Uh, another example, I will choose a Japanese bride. In Chinese, we call it Niao Wu Shu Dian, a bookstore company, a scenario mode innovation, the combination of a traditional bookstore and a live environment in order to create a different experience for the customer. So under the guidance of this con concept, we combine the existing technology, such as the big data, deep learning, AI, and uh, EV, electric vehicle, et cetera. In this case, in order to make this technology play the maximum role in the, in the market. The second part, I will share our ultimate plan. And from this slide, we can see our upstream supplier use our sterilized packaging for both single product or overall distribution. We gather all the suppliers product in our main warehouse. We design a different system module, such as the order forecast system module, warehouse management system module, logistic management system module, and et cetera, in order to provide the data support. We will set a store-ready warehouse and the pre distribution mechanism in the warehouse or the sub-warehouse. What we did is to utilize the realization of the flow of the information, goods, cash, and our organization. Next, let Chen Pu and Yue Yun and Ren Yan to share the left part. Uh, okay, thanks, uh, Zhu. So, uh, good evening, judges. Uh, I'm Chen Pu. I will present uh, the following page. Uh, so, our uh, implement, uh, implementing path will be divided into uh, following uh, six steps. So, first step, we will uh, establish a pre-allocation warehouse and also the uh, appropriate uh, uh, sub warehouse if needed. So, se uh, step two, we will design a standardized distribution box based on product data, such as weight and also uh, sales volume. Step, step three, transform uh, current uh, entire supply chain from process driving to digital driving. Uh, step four, we will change the way of loading and unloading. And step five, in the future, if needed, try to replace uh, current trucks to and new energy trucks, and also maybe in future for the autonomous uh, driving trucks. The final step to achieve the target is to uh, the upstream suppliers to implement the, the standardized packaging solution to achieve the carbon uh, reduction goals. Uh, next, please. Uh, so next, go to the first step. In the central warehouse, we will set up a store-ready warehouse, which will combine existing warehouse management system and uh, intelligent tools to complete like, uh, the operations uh, such as good uh, uh, warehousing, uh, quality inspection, storage, et cetera. And, and at the same time, the, this warehouse will undertake some uh, after sale function. So next, please. So next, uh, let's take into 
let, uh, let's take a look at the next step. So if leaded, we suggest, uh, suggest that Babymax to establish a warehouse in suitable regional areas based on its own situation and the current company strategy. The location decision will be uh, based on several information uh, and the data, such as sales performance of each store, uh, distance between warehouse, and also uh, some external uh, information, such as local policy support, transport, uh, transportation convenience, and uh, uh, also competitive environment. So through, uh, through this data, we can decide the specific cities and the reasonable numbers of warehouse and sub-warehouse. So next, please. So let's see what's next. Here are our core countermeasures. We suggest that Babymax to design several types of standard distribution box by building blocks. So this, this blocks based on uh, uh, the product types, weight, and also sales volume. Through this uh, uh, distribution box, we uh, expect to solve the two current core problems of Babymax. So first, the no utilization rate of the current tra uh, truck space. And the second, the problem of reuse of the auto uh, packaging. So uh, in the detail, in, in the warehouse, when we distribute the goods, we can use the AI technology to support the goods di distribution to the box. Different size of goods can be assembled into different size of distribution box. And also, the different uh, distribution box will fulfill the whole truck after AI calculation support. And, uh, and our ultimate goal is to make the utilization rate of the trucks exceed 95%. And at the same time, relying on computer and AI, we can plan the most lean and economic truck transportation route. So the loading and the unloading of goods will adopt the, the first in and the first out concept to ensure that the goods will be uh, will be uh, unloaded as soon as the truck arrives at the Babymax uh, uh, stores, which will solve the current problem of loading and unload, uh, non unloading time uh, of Babymax. And also, this distribution box can be reused, such as making uh, like furniture by building block. And here, we want, what we want to see is these solutions can be found in the market at present and, and can be implemented. And our solution is something uh, can be really down to earth. So next, please. So another suggestion is to uh, transform the current supply chain of Babymax from process driving to digital driving. So through the uh, big data and the AI technology, we can enhance the digitalization of the entire supply chain. Through these uh, changes, we believe that the supply chain will be more lean and efficient. So, and again, so these suggestions are currently uh, well used in the market and the many companies like Babymax have achieved uh, success uh, through such kind of transformation. So, uh, and moreover, the cost of the, uh, doing this is not very high at the present. Uh, so next, I will hand over to my team member, Ms. Yue Yun, please. Uh, good evening, teacher. I'm Yue Yun, and I will share last steps. Step for change of loading and unloading method. The traditional way is to use a forklift to load and unload in a carriage. We will choose a creative way as shown in the figure. Uh, upper loader and will be extend to the bottom of carriage. The distribution box will be put near the door and the loader will automatically transport the goods into the carriage. Based our investigation, we can find a very high maturity of this kind of logistics product on the market and the cost is not very high. In the future, combined with exciting AI, LIDAR technology, and the PLC control technology with sensors and the wells, the distribution box can be upgraded the intelligent mobile distribution boxes. 
This update will completely change the current way of loading and unloading. Step five. Next page. Step five. New average auto driving transportation is needed. On the one hand, we can as a use intelligent and networking electric trucks for truck trans transportation. On the other hand, the use of auto delivery electric trolleys and the terminal of the last mile can also be considered. The last step, con co collaboration with upstream supplier to achieve carbon reduction goals. We will convince the upstream supplies on the benefit of reducing the packaging cost and the digital supply chain uh, profit increase in the five go is we can reach a uh, packaging reuse with supplies. We suggest the apps, uh, apps them supplies uh, also use this kind of building block packaging of each individual specific product when providing our product. And we can work together to find a tail supply who can provide these small pieces, uh, building blocks that can be put together into phone toys that are degradable and recyclable and uh, reduce their carbon foot, uh, footprint. As shown in the figure, uh, we in integrate the consent of certain the development and the carbon emission reduction into the entire supply chain uh, to achieve high resource usage efficiency, uh, low overall environmental impact, and the better system uh, benefit. Uh, next, the last part of the content will be shared by my uh, team member, Lin Yan. Thank you. Okay, good morning, first. I'm Lin Yan. Next, I will evaluate the performance of this program from four aspects. First, more efficient distribution. Under the current delivery mode, it takes two hours to load the truck. The delivery can be three stones per day. While we use the pre-allocation, the loading of trucks is half hours, and the delivery is six to seven stones per day. So the distribution efficiency is increased more than 50%. Second, uh, higher space uh, utilization. With uh, the goal of uh, reduction, gray and uh, recyclable, we suggest uh, the supplier using the original package, such as uh, clothes. For range of products, such as the milk bottles, we use the separable standard a standard building blocks uh, decided by us. The size and the shape of the package can be adjusted according to the space of the distribution box. So the space utilization rate of the distribution box is nearly 100%. And uh, the truck space utilization uh, can be increased to more than 95%. Uh, third, lower car carbon emission. Uh, at present, our package program has uh, adhered to the three R. The first is reduce, that is remove the unnecessary package. The second is renewable, that is the package materials can be uh, reprocessed and uh, utilized. Uh, the third uh, is re uh, recyclable, mm, that is the package can be recycled and uh, reused. In addition, it is suggested that the company will gradually use the e-way uh, instead of a few uh, trucks. Uh, so uh, based on those two points, it can reduce carbon emission by at least 15%. Uh, lower, uh, lower overall cost. The application of AI and uh, intelligent system can optimize the inventory and the high distribution efficiency, space the utilization, and the uh, warehouse order can reduce the labor cost. If the intelligent distribution box can be used in the future, uh, labor cost will be minimized. So the operating costs will be overall reduced by 13%. And so 
through the bulk scheme, the supply chain is transformed from uh, process driven to data driven and realize the comprehensive improvement of the company, uh, economic benefits, social benefits, and uh, environmental benefits. And uh, all those things that our team did is returning to the orange intention of this cooperation. Uh, that is uh, reduced cost, uh, increase the efficiency, uh, low carbon environmental protection. Okay, that's all. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much. Uh, excellent timing as well. You're exactly at 15 minutes. Okay. Um, so we're going to move right on to the question and answer period. And as usual, Richard, um, you can start with, okay. uh, with questions. Well, thank you. thank you very much for a really interesting um, and comprehensive uh, presentation. Um, it covers everything. Um, and um, I, I guess one of the key questions is how much carbon reduction there will be and how did you um, come up with the 50% uh, number that was in one of your slides. Okay, I have the questions. And, uh, and we just from two, uh, two aspects to, 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 to realize the carbon reduction. One, one, one aspect is we use the, the different and the distribution packaging. This is uh, maybe the material is, uh, is uh, degradable, such as uh, my uh, my my classmate size right, and maybe uh, c from carbon situation, the upper supplier also created some packaging. They also uh, produce the, the 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 carbon, but after the com com comparison, maybe one box to compare one box, maybe we, we calculate maybe use this our method and the distribution box maybe have the 50 percent deduction and another thing is the the ev evacuate vehicle use usage maybe although currently it's it's needed in china it's needed it's indeed practical in in china if we had to use the we calculate all the trucks emission maybe 10 or 17 tons per year after you use the ev maybe all the carbon have the reduction and uh, and the temple do you have i date this is my uh, yeah uh Yes, uh, thanks, uh, teacher. So thanks for the questions. I think this is very, or also uh, what we are considering in the first beginning. Uh, so uh, like I mentioned in the presentation, so uh, our uh, current, our uh, solution is really only can be found in the market. So uh, in our team, there is one advisor, I think is uh, from a uh, leading logistic company, consulting company, in China, so we have this uh, uh, this advisor in our team. So our solution is uh, like uh, uh, is very similar, or uh, they have uh, some uh, already implemented in current uh, some uh, company in China. So we based on their uh, calculation and also historical data, we calculate as a carbon reduction from the current Babel Max. Uh, the whole supply chain. And also the uh, the issue is also they already have, I think, a lot of uh, like a similar solution. Uh, and uh, what to us I think is really something can be can be implemented. And also we uh, calculated for this carbon reduction based on based on this this data. Yeah. We got a lot of support from this uh, advisor. Yeah. Uh huh. <clears throat> so that that there would be two elements: the packaging and the more efficient vehicle usage. So, yes. and the vehicle usage would be a reduction in the number of trips, the number of uh movements because yeah. you could do six stores instead of just three stores is that the idea so there yeah. wouldn't have to be as many trucks and there wouldn't have to be as many um 
movements of the trucks because they would be able to do more efficiently, yeah. do more more stops and more efficiently. Is that yeah. is that the idea? Yes. yes. I don't want to put words in your mouth, but I mean, I think that's what I heard. Is that right? Is that correct? That's another thing because we also think use the electric vehicles. Right. Uh, electric vehicles also reduce the carbon emissions. So maybe this is three aspect. Yeah. Improve the efficiency, uh, distribution efficiency. Another thing is uh, the current packing packing plan. Another thing is maybe the EV use the in, use the in China or the world. Yeah. In other places. So a couple of other. So is the packaging already in existence? Is this packaging that is already available, or would it have to be designed and manufactured? Uh, this, uh, yeah, this packaging. I would, I would like to uh, say it like this way. So we investigated uh, the several scenario. So we found this uh, like this thinking is very similar, like uh, uh you know, uh, IKEA. Uh, the furniture, uh, the 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 uh, furniture uh, brand. So they uh -huh. already have uh, something very similar to this uh, uh, this thinking in IKEA. So they have already something like uh, they replace uh, uh, the packaging to uh, the use as a some part of furniture, like this one. So um, I think this is already something. Uh, can be found in the market. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. And and this, what about the unloading uh, device? The unloading uh, for the truck. The new. It's already a mutual product. Yeah. We also investigate. Is maybe five thousand dollars. Is uh -huh. is a, is a product is a mutual. So we just the find the existing product or technology in the market. Just the recombination. So to this market to baby max market right so the, the the um the biggest change seems to me to be the redesign of the distribution system itself the possibly setting up a sub warehouse and introducing uh new um uh, re erp planning and inventory management that seems to be the biggest yeah. change that would be yeah. made yes and would, would that be i guess two questions would that really be needed to do this and how much would it cost in terms of capital investment and retraining and so on yeah. uh so uh actually uh uh, we want to transfer well, our our uh, target or our expectation is to transfer this uh, current process driving to digitalized driving uh, process of Babel Max. And actually, we uh, don't have the very detailed information of Babel Max. So what's the their current situation? I think this is. Uh, for the transformation, we are totally based on their current uh, existing uh, process warehousing and uh, the uh, their uh, uh, talents of their workers. And also, I think uh, currently in China, and uh, as I mentioned, we have a, a very good advisor. Currently in China, we are already uh, many companies like Babel Max, such kind of this Babel Max. They are transforming uh, in like this way from process driving to digitalized driving, and this uh, our advisor, uh, his worker also is uh, helping this company to do this thing. So this uh, the, I think uh, the, there will be no very 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 standard or very, uh, very uh, one way to implement like this. This is a transform this transformation will totally based on the their current existing system the people and also the location, the product, and uh, combine together to improve this, uh, uh, to, to, to uh, uh, digitalize uh, di uh, driving for the whole entire, entire supply chain. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. uh, and for the cost, I think we're also based on uh, how deep 
this paper max management want to do the digitalization and how deep they want to transport to 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 this way yeah and uh, we can also there is a very uh high maturity uh it system for this one and uh, we can choose maybe different uh uh part of module for this uh, uh for this uh, transformation and uh, adding current adding to current uh, paper max uh, supply chain yeah and uh, I, I want to add more more some point and uh, i think from my aspect i i think we can calculate the first cost is they have already have the erp or supply chain system we want to add a ai forecasting system just the, it's, it's a small kind of some kind of the like, module from the uh, process uh, distribute uh, process driven to the data driven. Another thing, uh, provide the data. They have already two hundred. I remember two hundred forty forty thousand trucks, and we think uh, we all uh, uh, we all installed the 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 that product at I think maybe five thousand. Five thousand dollars is is another cost. Another thing is maybe use the uh, use the the, the stair the distribution box. It's also considered maybe two hundred yuan, maybe sixty 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 dollars. So from several point we can calculate. Yeah. So when you're making any, so it sounds like this could be. Um, what we what we say bolted on or added on to the existing system, it wouldn't mean you have to redesign the entire ERP system. This is something that could be added on to it or adapted to it. Is that right? Um, I think that's what yeah. you were saying. Yeah. Yes. Not to yeah. not to totally do that. Yeah. Right. Right. So um I'm just wondering um one of the things that uh any company looking at it, uh, a redesign like this is thinking about is what the return would be on the investment. How much would it cost to do this and how long would it take to recover those costs and start to see some cost savings? Have you given any thought to that question? Uh, yeah. I, okay. okay. Please. You please. Uh, okay. Uh, so actually, uh, uh, as I mentioned, so uh, this will be totally based on uh, how deep will be uh, the paper max management want to do this transform. And uh, uh, can, uh, to be honest, we don't uh, in this day we don't have the very detailed, uh, uh, very very detailed uh, information from uh, paper max. I think this can be calculated uh, after we have this uh, uh, data. Because uh, uh, there are already the companies in China, they already uh, try to change it like this way. And uh, if we have this detailed information, we even can have this connection with our advisor and we can uh, do this, uh, maybe the ROI calculation, how we can do a best uh, choice or best uh, solution for Babamax based on their current uh, existing system and the uh, 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 supply chain, yeah. I see. So, so you would use the existing systems as a kind of benchmark? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Got it. Okay. Chung, do you have any other questions? Um. Yeah, I guess I have a couple of questions. But um, in the case, it also mentions that Baby Max also has a significant uh, online business. Have you uh, thought about how this uh, store business uh, distribution can be integrated with their online distribution and to somehow make it more efficient and, uh, you know, more environmentally friendly. Yeah. Yes, we have our third concern days. Our solution is based on the existing of the Baby Max. So from maybe step five and the, the, the electrical trolley, just my Yue Yun said that it's already existed in China, especially in Beijing. Maybe the most of the cost maybe from the truck transportation to the brush transportation. The truck, truck uh, and, and the brush transportation, the, the cost is very high. If we can use the trolley from the store to the online customers, maybe at the like Feng Cao, like like the nice at the door of the communities, we can send it. It can save a lot of cost. And uh, another thing, maybe I think Chen Pu, do you have an idea? 
yeah, uh, same as Zhu. So currently the online uh, customer will uh, also be considering like, like Zhu mentioned, for the uh, last mile transportation, we will use like uh, the, uh, there is some, some the goods in the paper max store. And also they can use the uh, autom uh, autonomous driving, the, the small, small, uh, small, not truck, small cabinet to this like uh, uh, very near two kilometers, three kilometer to the customer. And this, uh, uh, I think currently just now, uh, in the street in Beijing, they already, some supermarket like Seven Fish or Hema, they already use this uh, kind of transportation, yeah, in Yizhuang area, yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm just thinking, can, can we somehow um, integrate you know, your your innovations with the, with the packaging and, and, the, um, and the, the routing uh, optimization? Um, can we integrate that into their uh, last month delivery so the e-commerce fulfillment system um you know where right now i think it's two very separate systems right where one distribution system to their stores and to the storefronts and the other system for fulfilling their online orders is there some way we can integrate that to make it more efficient uh yeah I think yeah, you are right, Professor. I think it will be will be something can be in, uh, integrated together, yeah. Okay. For 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 this system, but 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 as uh, but uh, uh, from my uh, understanding, this will also uh, to say how much deep uh, for paper max management, how mm -hmm. deep they want to do this change because I think this this change will uh. Really do uh, they need to really do something uh, compared to their their current uh, business model for this one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Last one is a very sim a fairly simple question is um, the 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 packaging that you you designed the I guess they made it of wood it looks like in the picture they made it of wood or, or some other material are they designed for single use? Can you use them once and then not again? Or, or uh, with are they going to be reused? Um, and how would that cost differ than having uh, the the pallet pool system where you know the the pool that the pallets are being circulated around um and where baby max don't actually have to invest uh, up front in in the um in the pallets and, and the repair and the maintenance of them because if you're gonna be reused you know run the same issue you're gonna need to repair them uh main, maintain them uh, how is that how would that work if you're gonna reuse them if not are you gonna what are you gonna do with them after you after you deliver them to the store? Uh, this this one uh, we also have some thinking. So currently, uh, for this uh, uh, for sure, it will not be one time use. Our 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 thinking, our solution is uh, we need to reuse this uh, packaging or uh, use this uh, wooden uh, in 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 several times, and also uh, the current as I mentioned before, the current uh, the the uh, sound. Other company like uh, IKEA, they have or already have this kind of uh, solution for how to how to uh, reuse uh, more than one time for this uh, like the wooden and also how to maintain uh, during this phase. And uh, uh, they want uh, they want to also uh, build up like uh, some business model to 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 uh, very long time uh, using for this uh, kind of. Uh, uh, reuse uh, material, and uh, from my understanding, we even can have some uh, connection or collaboration with the, such kind of uh, company. I think, I think they, they are very willing to 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 uh, do do like this. They are willing to uh, cooperate like this way because they have it's really something can uh, do change change the current model of. Uh, Packaging and transportation. Yeah. So your idea that is, is that Bape Max would handle, um, I guess, all the repairs and and uh, the disassemblies of of these containers, or are you going to outsource it to a, a third party company, just like the the pallet system? Would you be looking for a company that does that? Because he said there might be like IKEA does it. I don't think they use third party companies because they're in the furniture business. Perhaps they have some yeah. other yeah. ways to do it. But Bape Max, 
it's not that's not their business, right? It's, it's not yeah. making containers and maintaining containers. So I'm just wondering, how are you going to maintain this? These uh, you know containers are going to moving around, obviously getting damaged and need to be repaired or replaced. Uh, how's that going to work? Uh, yeah. From my uh, uh, from, yeah, cool. from from my side, from my side, I think maybe several times maybe it's broken or some is is need a lot of cost to maintain. But maybe uh, maybe change it to the second uh, second second hand, second hand market like the without it is like the low price to change the furniture who also can sell it maybe maybe one hundred times or two hundred times it's come to use but we can change another change a second market to sell it as the furniture another thing is maybe currently we can we can test maybe two two hundred times the usage. We can clean it and send back to the slayer. So so like this of course. This mm -hmm. is my okay. okay. Um okay, well that's all the questions I have. Richard, do you have anything else? Uh no. Okay. Well Oops. I think our time is nope. up. So thank you very much for that very interesting presentation and other questions uh you've answered for us. And thank you, Richard, for uh, participating. And uh, we look forward to uh, you know, the results uh, coming in about about a week. So uh, hopefully we uh, we'll, we'll see you guys do well. Yeah, thank you, Professor. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you all. Thank for you. Very, very interesting. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.